So it's incredibly vital that we put the mouth back into the body. Um, there's lots of reasons why it's been taken out from the fact that we've had marketing for the last 60 years that have put it as a status symbol, where it's your smile that is more important than maybe your health, for example. And so there's lots of reasons why it's at. Getting it back in has actually proved to be quite difficult. It's almost like putting the toothpaste back in the tube, if you will. Um, so it, it does become somewhat problematic. I think where we've been able to find common ground uh, across disciplines and even with individuals who want to seek care is an understanding that the mouth is an organ because it affects the rest of our systemic well-being. So if you have a disease in your mouth, you actually have a disease in your body. And we know there are these certain cells and certain bacteria that form in the process that will affect the overall systemic well-being. And so the idea is that you have diseases of the upper, upper gas intestinal system and that the mouth is such an important piece that if you have a disease there you have it somewhere else in the body and I think there's growing awareness of that and it really is kind of this um, dichotomized approach which if you're say a dentist or a dental care provider trying to treat periodontal disease you really can't treat that effectively without treating say somebody who is diabetic or has cardiovascular disease. The same as if somebody who has cardiovascular disease or is a diabetic, you can't effectively treat that disease if you're not treating the oral diseases because they're interrelated on a molecular level.